Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1497. This is the video where we get to vote, vote, vote to try and win a free book. Now we've done six videos where we tried to allocate invoice header amounts down to the transaction line item table. Now you get to click the link below the video and vote. And you can vote multiple times up to one each. So if you can't decide, vote five different times. Do you want to vote for the Excel formulas and pivot table solution where we got to see a formula like sum product that brought over the line items into the header table and calculated total sales? We did a few other helper columns and then we used pivot table and formulas. Or do you want to vote for the crazy array formula solution where we used this crazy array formula, two helper columns, and then summarized with some ifs? Or do you want to vote for DAX and Power Pivot, where we use the data model and an amazing formula that used sum x, related table, and related all in one calculated column? Or do you want to vote for Power Query, where we saw two different ways to solve this using Power Query? And finally, you can vote for Power BI Desktop, where we got to see how to calculate line sales by using Power Query, which is Edit Queries in Power BI Desktop. And then we calculated DAX calculated columns before we used Report View to create dynamic reports. All right, so click that link below the video and go and vote. And we'll see you next video.